Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Are you sitting comfortably? Because I'm going to tell you a story today. A story of many years ago before Lego Friends existed when I bought a Ben Bayo set. Now this is because I really wanted a buildable doll's house and nothing like this existed in Lego at this time. And I think this is a picture of that same set, but I can't be sure because I've blocked it out of my memory because it was a terrible experience. The pieces didn't go together, the instructions were awful. The, the colours didn't even match what was, yeah, okay, so it was not great. But Lego Friends came out the very next year and Lego has never failed me in its product quality and I swore I would never waste my money on an inferior brick product again. But <laughs> this is where the plot thickens. Back to Soul tagged me on Instagram with this picture of an enlightened brick brand carousel and oh my goodness it is so cute so I decided that I would try it so I went on Aliexpress I ordered it, it was about $40 and it has arrived so we're going to build it together and we'll see what the quality is like and whether it's worth it now it actually arrived in this bag so they don't come in boxes this I assume helps keep the shipping costs down so <laughs> it already arrives looking reasonably dodgy but if we pull all these bits out here. We've got five bags full of pieces. We've got three big green brick plates and the instructions. Now let's see, let's see how clear these instructions are. Oh, look at those exploded <laughs> dolls down there. Okay. All right. So I think I could probably follow those instructions. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's meet the dolls first. There are four included in this set and you have to put them together. There is quite, which way does this go around? There's quite a lot of assembly required here. That's brick building set, so that's not really surprising, but I can't figure out whether this is, even from the instructions, I can't tell whether we want the slanty bit. I suppose logic tells me the slanty bit needs to go towards the back so she can sit down. All right, and I like the design of the skirt. That's cute and little sneakers, little molded sneakers. Oh, I like the print on her top too. And we have to assemble the arms, so, Okay, it's lots of assembly required. Oh, a little hands, I got fingers and a thumb. These little distended -y thing, fingery things, good. And she has all the arms she needs, so that's a plus. She has two. And there's this massive hole in her neck because she goes together differently to a mini doll design. So that goes on like that. And then we whack this big hollow head thing. Oh, and then the stud part sticks out the top. Okay. That's cool. Okay, she actually tips backwards a bit, so so she's not overly steady on her feet. But oh, check out this purple hair piece. Ooh, that's quite a snug fit. All right. Okay, so she looks very quiet, and and I'm gonna see if I can get this. I don't know that I can get this off again though. Uh, all right, well, we'll just leave it on. Oh, she is not steady on her feet. Definitely tippy backwards. And she comes with a teddy. I love the teddy. It's like a Care Bear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can spend all my time knocking these over. Okay, so she can hold the teddy, I think. We'll check that these hands actually work. And she can hold the teddy like this. Like, here, take the teddy. Take the teddy. That just looks weird. Or she can hold it... Uh, it'd be good if she could hold it facing front. She can hold it like that, snugging it in. That's a cute teddy. I'm keeping the teddy, that's for sure. Okay, all right, so, oh, there's a hole. There are holes here to put hair accessories in, and the accessories come in this little clip-off thing. A couple of them have actually fallen off in the bag, uh, and the sunglasses go in the hole on the top. They're not going in very happily, though. That is a... I don't know if that's going to fit. Oh, there's a lot more shoving involved trying to get these in. Okay. All right. But the teddy bear is so far my favorite thing. There's another girl. There are actually two girls and two boys and we need to put, we need to put this one together the same way as the other one. She's got a little pink piece here to match her pink skirt. Just looked slightly taller there. There's an optical illusion though. And her top is, she's all in pink. Got a little clover on her shirt. It's cute outfits, really, really cute outfits. Let's give her some arms so she's not armless anymore. Got two arms. The arms actually go in really quite easily and they're snug, they, 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 they move nicely. Let's put this neck piece in and we'll put her head in. What expression has this girl got? Oh, she's got pink glasses. Pink glasses, oh, cute. 
And her hair piece, does she have pink hair? No, she's got blue hair with little plaits down the back. All right. Oh, that's a cute hair piece. I wonder if this will fit on a mini doll, on a Lego mini doll. Let's, uh, let's, let's try it out. Whoa, that is snug. It fits. It does fit. Uh, but wow, it's, it's really snug. Is that ever going to come off? I don't know that it's going to come off. We're going to have to... Uh, no, what if this is stuck on here forever? If we lever it like this, often that works. That's good. Okay. Cool. Okay. I don't think I'll try that again. <laughs> so we've deduced that it does actually fit on the Lego mini dolls, but it does not come off very easily. So cute little hair pieces. Very cute teddy bear. And the boys, the boys you have to put their legs on. So they've come entirely legless, leg, legless, leg, leg, legless, legless. I can't even speak. I cannot speak. Okay, all right. So these legs are really, really tough to put on. Uh, they are. I. Oh, I bet it's as though it's not supposed to fit. That doesn't seem to fit on that point at all. Am I doing this wrong? Is this wrong? Maybe if we wiggle it. If you wiggle things a bit, sometimes <laughs> go in. I'm gonna. All right. So I've used my teeth, and that actually worked. And. We've got another one to put on. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe if I use the power of the table or the power of the hammer. You know, I saw these hammers on, on the Lego Masters show here in Australia and my family got me one for Mother's Day. <laughs> Best Mother's Day present ever. But it's not helping me at all with this. <laughs> as much as I'm enjoying hammering it. Oh, it's not working. Okay, so teeth it is. So now there are permanent teeth marks in either side of his pants. But he does have the oh, cute little braces. Cute little bow tie. <laughs> this is an adorable outfit. Look how tippy backwards he is though. He goes too far backwards. He's not going to be able to stand up well. Okay, and this is not going in easily or maybe if I put his head on and then just try twisting it we'll do the good old wiggle the wiggle trick I'm trying to figure out where this is supposed to go in there must be there's obviously a blockage down further okay he's just gonna have to be long necked or maybe not maybe we can just wiggle it in a bit more all right okay all right that worked okay now he's got a blonde hair piece he looks very dapper all right, he's cute, he's cute. And he, he's got a friend, so oh I got more legs to put on. Oh, actually, before I put legs on, let's put her hair piece on because I forgot it. So I don't know that that, that doesn't, I don't know how long that's gonna stay in there. That's not, I'm <laughs> just tipping them all over. Uh, it's not, doesn't seem to be in there very well. All right, so fourth, fourth character, gonna try and put his, yeah, put his legs on. We're just gonna hurry this up because otherwise we'll be here all day. Okay, and oh, that's the hole that that is supposed to go into. That's really tight fit. Let's see how he goes. Did I put his legs on backwards? No, all right, he's good. Uh, arms, and he looks like he might be, he might be in charge of the carousel. He looks like he's wearing a bit of a uniform, theme park uniform. And he's, oh, his, his uh, neck piece went in quite well. And he has got brown hair. That's a cute hairstyle. Oh, that's very cute. I love the fact that their legs are articulated. Even if they do tip too far backwards, it's nice to have some articulated legs. He has got, yeah, he's got a popsicle and all four of them are ready for a fun day at the carousel. So we'd better get cracking with actually building this. So let's move fast. We're going to need the base plates all joined together with this. Oh, okay, it's tipping up on the sides and we need to make the shape for the carousel. And there are five bags worth of pieces. So we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of bricks to put down. Comes with a blue brick separator and the brick separator works quite well. The pieces are quite hard to actually put down. They don't feel like, like, like Lego. You can tell that it's not, that they're not Lego bricks. My fingers are already starting to hurt because I'm having to manipulate and push down these bricks more than I would have to with a Lego set. But the design so far is really cute. Look at those little pink steps going up. Oh, that's really adorable. <laughs> and we've got, we've obviously got some moving parts on this because the carousel is actually on gear work. So it should, all things going well, should actually turn around at the end. And I'm using my hammer to actually get everything down because otherwise my fingers are going to break. 
Okay, all right, so we've got a little gear house over here. We're up to bag number two. We've got the base plate down for the carousel. And now we're making the plate that goes on the top here. I have to admit, I didn't find the instructions incredibly clear for this part. Uh, <laughs> and I really needed the hammer to get everything to go down to connect properly to that octagon on the top. These side pieces also just didn't really want to go on for me, but they're on now, <laughs> that's all that matters. And all of these little decorative pieces are lovely, but they take quite a bit of manipulating to get them on too, and the little blue bits kept coming up. So even though it's hard to put the bricks on, they're actually not overly secure, but look at this cute, cute carousel horse. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are adorable. This one's in mint and it's got the prettiest patterning and can't wait to ride it. And, oh, okay, that doesn't connect. Is, you can probably see the hooves don't actually go down properly. But let's look at the next one. We've got a yellow one. A really, oh, these are just so cute. They've got little pieces here that, that look like wings and yeah, they don't connect very securely on their two connecting points there. Well, their three connecting points. So hopefully they'll manage okay there and not fall off. And now we need to put this in here. Does that look right? That kind of just looks like it's just kind of floating on the top. Let me have a check. The bits are falling off. Maybe it's because this little lump here. See, no, hold on. That's right. Okay. No, it's right. It's all right. So let's put it back on and all right, so it's actually spinning freely and the little cog there's going around so everything's joined up well We're doing well so far All right, cool And now we've got the little uprights on the side the little poles that hold up the little circus tenty kind of thing on the top and We're building the actual wheelhouse. We're up to bag number three and my fingers hurt a lot now We have got a poly bit here, which is designed to go in the middle lots of stuff Stickers, all the same stickers, and we're just doing the same thing here four times. Four times. And these are going to line around the middle of the carousel. They also don't fit on overly snugly and securely, not the way I'm used to bricks going together. But it's cute and it's all turning. It's all turning nicely. Okay, some more cog pieces. Oh, this is spiky. This is a spiky cog piece. I can't get it to go down. Is it supposed to? Yeah, all right. So it's supposed to go all the way down. It's really, really a tight fit. And that goes over here. And my fingers hurt from poking that, but everything's turning. Everything's turning very nicely. And here is our extension -y piece. Oh, it's got the wheel. No, it's got the, the handle, the handle, so that we can turn all the wheels. And at the moment, there's not enough pressure points to actually hold that down. So we need to keep building and hope that it will be able to hold all the gears down because all those gears turning at once over such a long area requires a lot of downward pressure from the bricks above it to make sure they all hold in place. Now these here, oh, they go up and down. And here's, we'll put the other one on, on the other side and it, oh, hold on, that keeps coming off. So that's not really secure, the little purple bit down the bottom. And another one of these little spiky gear parts. My goodness, they're stiff. <laughs> Even my hammer's not helping, but it's fun. And I've left big divots in the oh, in my work table. This goes on the top, and then oh look at they oh hold on, that's coming out. That's actually coming out of the little pieces underneath. All right, we're working over here on the wheelhouse, and it looks cute, and everything is still going around. And the gears all work and I have to really hold it down very firmly to make sure that everything goes okay let's get the next two carousel horses on because they're gorgeous there's a white one and there's a pink one they're so pretty <laughs> they are so pretty and they actually attach to these poles that go up and down so they are going to go up and down when it all turns so they're hooked on there with one hook and oh hold on we've come a cropper on the other side that keeps coming out. Ah, uh, all right. Hopefully that will all hold a little more securely when we've got more stuff built on the top. We're up to bag number four and we are building the big, oh, that, that, that bit all looks a bit melted and dodgy. Let's hope that that holds together well enough. That's one of the things that I've, have never happened for me in a proper Lego set is that every piece is always perfect. 
perfect and this this one's got some melty pieces which might actually cause us some structural problems as we go along but we'll see we'll see hopefully not so this is our support up the top there are blue magic wands and they are cute they are <laughs> hanging down just adding some extra sparkle we'll put everyone on the horses and let's give this a go goes around everything's holding together nicely we we'll keep going on the wheelhouse over here it's got some more aesthetic pieces to go on it and then we have got a whole heap of cloned pieces so multiple pieces up here on the top and the top of there is looking pretty good and now we've got a whole heap of these that we need we'll just go and put them on and we're up to bag number five. So we're working on the top of the carousel now. And, oh, pink little, pink little lifesaver things. Oh wow, these do not go on easily. The white clippy pieces don't want to go on to the blue round circly ones. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there are eight of these I've done for. I've got eight of them ready to go. And they go in between around here making nice angled pieces. The design of this is really very pretty and it's it's really taking nice shape. Got some more of these pieces. We're going to need to duplicate these and they are going to go in between the ones that we've already made. And then we've got a complete little angled top there. I don't know how many sides that is because I wasn't counting, but there's lots. And looks like the wheelhouse is all ready to go. And on the tippy top here, we need, that's, see that's not going in, so hammering it didn't actually get it in very far, but hopefully it's in far enough for everything to work. We need to put this up here with all these little sticky uppy bits because they are going to hold, they're going to hold the sails. So we've got all of these plasticky parts which are going to make the sails up here and they're just not going on. It's like I'm putting them on maybe, they don't sit very well, maybe they're supposed to be fluffed up. Okay, that's the best I can make it look because they just don't... It's like they need an extra mill of them off, like a tiny bit shorter or something. But there we go, we've got them all on and then when we put the cap on, <laughs> it looks kind of lopsided. <laughs> Not sure what I've done wrong there on the top. Okay, so it is entirely finished. Let's, th these horses keep, the uppy downy ones keep coming out because that's not very secure that part there and they're going around I'm having to push down with quite a lot of pressure to hold it nice and steady so it can go around but it does work and we've got ourselves a working little brick built carousel now I did come uh, into a problem here when I was putting one of the characters on this part detached from the part above it and I don't know how I'm going to put that back together again without dismantling the whole thing. So there's just not enough structural integrity in this to hold it together to make it a workable piece and it's not going to work if I don't stick it down again. So okay so I'd finished and then this happened so I don't know quite what to do about this. So I took a gamble on an enlightened set and it was it's very cute design but unfortunately it is lacking in the structural design. The pieces don't go together easily and they don't hold together properly. So, well, it was fun and I'll be keeping the teddy and I'll be keeping the carousel horses, but I think the rest will be definitely separated from my Lego pieces so they don't get mixed up. <laughs> okay, let me know about your experiences with non-Lego brick sets. Let me know what you like and what you don't like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give me a like and I'll see you with a new video very, very soon. Bye.